Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing how to make custom spells, because in the last spell video I did, I, I showcased spells, but I didn't show how you can make your own. And so I'm just gonna show you how you can do that. First off, we have, you know, let's, let's say I wanted to make a spell that would give me speed whenever I used it, like this. What you're going to want to do is slash execute at E, type equals item, name equals, and then quotation speed. What this will do is, will essentially make it so, <coughs> it'll make it so, uh, whenever you drop this item, you know the item that you drop is an entity, and it'll execute as that, and it'll affect the nearest player, which is you, with speed, for 10 seconds. And then up here, uh, this will just kill the item. So you can use this with whatever you want. Just change the name of the item and then change the effect. Uh, and then also, you know, yeah. And then you know, what if you wanna, what if you wanna summon something? What if you wanna summon summon something, it's pretty much just the same command except instead of effect. You just do summon, and then whatever mob you want. And then whatever distance away you, you want it to be, I recommend using the up arrows, because that just makes it so it's facing where you're to, with, or where the way that it summons is, like, based on where the person who summons it is facing. So, like, you do that, bam, husk summons. And then, you know, this will just kill the item again. Over here we have, you know, just a basic, <laughs> a basic system. This will just, you know, execute as the item. And then, affect all entities that are monsters in the radius of three with wither. And then just kill the item. And, I mean, here's what it does. yeah so this this thing is basically that but better all right so I get this wither 2.0 execute at E tables on enables wither and then it will tag the nearest player which is you and it'll add wither and then what this will do is it will just uh, execute at E tag equals wither which would be the person who used the spell and then that particle minecraft lava particle and then just wherever you are so do that and then you want to do a comparator because that will detect when this command is used and then some repeaters and then this what this will do is it will just put a smoke particle three blocks away from you and this one will do it three blocks away from you but in another direction and that's what all these commands are that's why there's smoke particles around all right and basically you're going to make this little contraption and then this will just actually affect the nearby mobs with wither This one right here will kill the item, and this one will remove the tag, so you're able to use it again. Sometimes the tag gets stuck on you, like if you use it multiple times. Well, usually it does. Alright, well, never mind, but if it does, here's this. This will just remove the tag every uh, 30 seconds. You have to put it uh, 600, so it actually removes every 30 seconds. Yeah. Alright, so I, I showed how to, you know, make those ones. I'll show how to make this one. You know, this one utilizes tags. Like, a lot. You know, this, you, you tag yourself. And then this one, yeah. This one is just so you can detect, you know, when you have the tag. You don't have to put a particle here. But, like, I really, I, I just needed a way to detect the, that you had the tag. 
and then you know you just put particles around these are optional if you if you want to add more than you can and then you know th this is really what's making the commands work this removes the tags you can use it again this kills the item and this uh, actually does the effect the wither 2.0 spell that I made is pretty much just the wither one except it has particles so if you don't want particles then it's fine it, just go for the normal wither one if you want it to be uh, nice and simple but if you want it to be like look cool and have particles I'd suggest using the wither 2.0 but you can replace the wither effect with something else like maybe you're playing a team game and you want to affect your allies with wither or not with wither with like speed or regeneration you can just re uh, change this around to like you know whatever helpful effect you want or like maybe you just want to do instant damage or poison and just change the effect to you know whatever effect you want you can also change the particles uh, if you don't know any particle names I recommend just looking up like a list to the particles because I mean particles can really help with like spells and stuff they make it look a lot cooler alright well that's it for this command tutorial another short one bye